Now at 11, a five-year-old girl in Fort Lauderdale nearly died after a dog viciously attacked her at a playground. Her parents say the owner and the dog have vanished and they're desperately trying to find them. We want to warn you, this story may be hard for some of you to watch. CBS 4's Anna McAllister has the story from Fort Lauderdale. What was supposed to be a fun day at the playground became a nightmare for this little girl. Her family tells me that she has dozens of stitches and staples on her face and her head, and now her parents want accountability from the owner of the dog. It was, it was heartbreaking to hear. I mean, she was screaming, screaming, let me go, let me go, let me go. Florian Becker and his family are traumatized and devastated. Their five-year-old daughter came within inches of losing her life after she was mauled by a dog while at Wart Park on Tuesday. She called me um, crying, said, come to the ER. She got bitten by a dog. Becker says the woman in this video asked if the little girl and her brother wanted to pet the dog. She mentioned that the dog was nice and that she recently rescued him. But without warning, the dog snapped and pounced on Becker's little girl. Surveillance video captures the blood curdling screams from the moment the attack happened. Becker says his wife tried to grab the dog, but the collar broke, and it once again wrestled their daughter to the ground. The dog's owner, unfortunately, didn't render assistance, was probably shocked, scared as well. He says his daughter has at least 20 staples to the head and at least 50 stitches to the face. That's to cut her hair off, uh, it was all caked in blood and, and dirt. Uh, and that makes her very upset. The woman and her dog haven't been seen since, and the Beckers just want answers. We're five days later, there's a lot of time to reflect, a lot of time to do the right thing and come forward and call somebody, call police, call the county, call us, anybody uh, to come forward. And I'm very disappointed that that hasn't happened. The family is asking anyone who knows this woman to come forward. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Anna McAllister, CBS 4 News tonight. For the third time,